What up, nerds? It's Matt and Kyle. I'm on the play. Both crap out of These are Dragon Shield Ember Dual Mats. Do you remember what those are? No. Okay. Yeah. They're Dragon Shields, though. They're going to be sad, then. Yeah. Um, anyways, Chetmere's Garden. Your turn. Yeah, I've had these ones for a while. Uh, we're going to play a land, and we're going to play a dork and see what happens to it. It died, everybody. It's exiled, too. Pass. With all the grave recursion I have in my mono green deck. Yep. Uh, well, I was so much wanting that dork, I think I'll play a second of a different variety. Seems certain. Um, I'm going to cast Nylia's Presence on the Sun Petal Grove. Okay. Draw a card. Yes. What's tap for initial mana? Uh, no, it's now every basic land type. Oh! You're playing Domain? Yeah. Cool. So at least I know what I'm doing this turn. <laughs> uh, we're going to disenchant that. We're going to play Stomp. And before I just grab the way, I'll grab that in a moment. I'm going to tap. I'm going to pick your poison and make you second enchantment. <laughs> and then I'll grab a land. Um, <laughs> just pick your poison in the main deck. <laughs> That's why I said it was the Rogue Intervention. Like, I don't think it was supposed to be main deck. I think I forgot. It may have been main deck when... This is attack and block. Uh, yes, right? yeah. It's a bush until I get seven lands. Um, I, I think I may have left it main deck back when things were more competitive in general. And like yeah. you were seeing so many um, Vayne Rippers. Mm, yeah. because I, and Angels and stuff. Because I have no way of dealing with them. And like, if I wasn't playing at main board, I was just losing games. That makes sense. And... Um, the enchantment removal was required for uh, fighting against like ley lines. Yeah. And uh, what was the other one? There's another deck that had. Well, like, I mean, Fable. It hits Fable against Rakdos yeah. and it hits Vayne Ripper against Rakdos. So. Yeah, it was just one of those things where it's like, I think at the time it was just a requirement for the fact that it hit an enchantment or a creature with flying. That's my draw for the turn. Yeah. Beanstalk. Yeah. Island, mountain, so you're missing a swamp. Okay. And then I'll pass. You're missing your favorite color. How rough. I know. How am I going to cast a shield right now? You know, I actually feel like you might not be running a shield in that deck. Um, you've been confusing me a bit lately. We're going to play land for turn. We're going to tap three. We're going to play a stomps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That will be six, so it's still not enough to turn it on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try and hit you for one. Wow. Sending a message. Yep. Thank you. That's to be fair, actually hitting you for one's important. I left uh, Tim down to one because I miscounted with uh, I resolved a Nissa, and uh, I thought I was going to be lethal, but it, it made my Topier Stopper ten ten and my Elf a nine nine, and he was at twenty. I forgot he didn't have a pain land that turn by the game. All right, draw for my turn. Yep. Oh, that's probably stupid. Shut up, YouTube. Let's uh, furnace a stopper. Let's I've got do six in hand. Six damage to it. Yep. Which one? No, neither one's foil. So. Yeah. Two in hand. Uh, yes. Stomper. Trigger pin stop. Pass. So the we'll see. Like, we'll see. Seems about right. So the the play that YouTube's yelling at me about is uh, I had this pick your poison before oh. you played the other two enchantments. Uh, pick an enchantment and sacrifice it. We'll go furnace. Uh, yeah. Get in for one. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, no, no. I, I was um, just double checking. Like, yeah, no creatures, no man lands. Yeah. Here, here we go. Right, draw for turn. One in hand. Yeah. Shock. Sixteen. Seems good. Trigger. Yep. This is land return. Faster. Mm. 
The elf. How rude. Um, yeah. And then. I'll pass. And draw. Okay. Heart rate of a bunch of cards in hand. Four. That wouldn't die. I think that's the play. Seven. Okay. I'm gonna down her, mm -hmm. and we're actually gonna blow up, um, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Oh, okay. So we're gonna get rid of the uh, binding. Yeah. I don't get to search my library because of no, your you friendly Elish Norn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do get to threaten a whole bunch of damage potentially next turn, so I'll pass. And so. Yeah. Rude. Binding. Hit both. Because you have doubles. Yep. yep. Go to my turn. Yep. And yes, oh, and trigger the beanstalk. There's my beanstalk. Yeah, it's yeah. cast. Yep. It's cast. Yep. Yep. Making sure it wasn't. Yeah. Probably missing that pick your poison oh, yeah. so you don't get the draws is probably going to be what grinds me out of the game. Uh, let's see. YOLO. Trigger, trigger. Mm -hmm. So I'll choose um, shield counter, shield counter. And then two four fours, two rounds. Yep. Pass. I don't think this actually helps me, but I want to play it anyways. It's <coughs> a cool new card in the deck. Over the hot one. It does you nothing can. when it enters. Um, and I'm just dead in crack backs of the game. Okay. Because it's, uh, I can block six and it's twelve for four, four, four. Yeah. 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 See, this is this is why I pick your poison main board. Sure. <laughs> I can because I knew what you were playing. <laughs> like I, said, I think it was supposed to be the heroic interventions. Yeah. Um, well, at least I know the monstrous emergences are not the choice against you. No, I have much. I mean, I have big creatures. I don't know if they're bigger than what you're doing, but. Do I need anything here? To be fair, it depends on what side of the deck comes out because I. Those are okay. Had you not been able to remove the. Nissa. I guess it would have been next the turn after. It would have been a while until I actually altered it because I would have been sniping uh, enchantments. Let's see. Take out something. One of those. I don't think I still have two of those Nissa. I would actually. Yeah, that's probably a mistake. I don't know what two cards to take out. I mean, you don't have to take cards out. That's true. I've been. I did pretty well putting <laughs> four in. I mean, to be Honestly, fair, the way my draw has been going, I need to just. If I'm on the draw, I need to take a land out. I mean, that's generally not always the worst decision. But I, do you run any MF uh, multi-face the, the lands with those spells on the there, other side? There's one blast pool mimic, and okay. I think that's it. Because I, I was. Uh, Tim, I feel like. They're almost underplayed a bit. Yeah, and they're all pretty. I mean, they're not all pretty. As long as you have, as long as you have good value, you can get good value from the spell yeah. side. 
Balagad recovery is really good. Yes. And I, I'm mostly in green and black, so yeah. it's like, well, Balgate recovery and Golgari is great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, um, the the black one's okay, depending on what deck you're running. Yeah, Spike Field Hazard is okay. Um, yep. Obviously, the more one drop, or one right. toughness creatures that are being played, the better it is. Right. Um, Mimic is good in this, because I can copy, like, an Overlord I, or something. I think Mimic is probably one of the best ones. I've seen some people do some disgusting things with it. Um, but one thing I was, uh, maybe not much for your deck, but like with Tim's deck being super friends and everything, it's like, um, if you have a, uh, something that can bounce the land, any permanent, to its owner's hand, you can bounce a, yeah. the dual, uh, the flip land MDFC to your hand and um, cast a spell with it. Yeah. I'll be able to play. So bad. Enters, okay. Yes, so stomps, draw me cards, um, title trackers, draw me cards, most everything else gets counters on. I'm just so gonna draw. draw. I'm gonna draw then fetch and okay. Uh, oh, okay. Um, then we will fetch and hit you for one. Nineteen. Right, sir. So one of the unique experiences in this deck is just the fact that you keep drawing lands, effectively by hand right now, as honestly, all lands. Um, go to the core. <laughs> get a basic force out and put it in play, tap. Yep. Um, so that was actually why I kept is I had dork, two drop, three drop. So even if you killed the dork, I still right. turn two play. Makes sense. Yep. Um, but yeah, you just keep drawing lands until you draw a card that says, Pay a bunch of mana and see what happens. All right, um, I'm only at six, so that's not turned on, and he is a two-two. He is, which is unfortunately bigger than a one-one. Math checks so, out. Uh, I will be passing the turn. Draw right for us. I'm going to do that, and somehow, first time ever, I forgot to make a land token against Tyler. Oh wow! And it was, it was kind of a big dump for me to do that. Yeah. Um, and then go to Mensa. Uh, on your end step, actually, because this doesn't say it can't target it because it's still an enchantment. I'm gonna have to save it. Yeah. Like I said, it's all land. <laughs> and I can grab anything with a basic, basic type. Yeah, so go ahead and grab your... I mean, you already have double domain there, so... I just didn't want you getting another... I don't think I can actually... We'll see if I can potentially kill you before that thing uh, would have actually awoken. I've played him twice so far tonight, and both times I never awoken. Uh, untap. I will layer the Hydra. Uh, seven. Mm -hmm. So I will go to combat. Swing a 4-4. Mm -hmm. 
13. Final pass turn. Two cards in hand? Yes. Biza, okay. So I'm going to gain four. Yep. Uh, we have the same number of creatures. So uh, like... Yeah, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I have more, actually. I keep forgetting that is a creature. This isn't a creature, though. Yes. <laughs> That's just, we have the same you, you were right. Creatures. You were just yeah. pointing at the wrong yeah. thing. I'm, I'm letting yep. YouTube know. Uh, so gain four. Yep. I have five cards, so I don't yep, draw yep, one. But you'll get... I uh, do get a treasure. Yes, yeah, so you get the treasure. And then... Uh, yeah. I will pass. More importantly, you get a creature that has a higher Five toughness than a stomper. Yeah. Untap. Draw. Yeah, he's really good. Um, Spot. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Uh, you're huh. My have to turn. Yeah, I'm just So, one. Six seven. Mm -hmm. Make him a seven seven. Mm -hmm. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing seven. Okay. Um, I'll go to ten. Oh. And then I will pass the turn. Uh, I forgot to play land. Oh. <laughs> I was too busy counting to play land. Um, shit. I say that's actually one of the things with this deck is I generally try to rush to play my lands just unless yeah, I have to sequence I, something. I can't not. Just to not do that. I can't. I have to just keep the treasure. Never punish though, right? Untapped land off the top. Huh? I guess, okay, you had the everywhere and I ramped you one. Yeah, that makes sense. I was just saying, like, I've been ramping. <laughs> you kept up? Binding the stomper. Okay. Trigger beat stomper. Yep. Oh, that's right. No blockers, correct. Correct. Back for six. Take six. Go to four. Team. Better. So I have to crack the treasure, but I'll flip the trap. So. Oh. Yeah, if I played my land for last turn, then I wouldn't have had to use the treasure. I could have used that on your turn and had one yeah. more mana. So like, there was a, a chance that for that I could have done both this turn. Eight, ten. Okay. All the value. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's do creature. Enchantment. Do I need the enchantment? I don't think I need the incarnation at this point. We'll do land. It's like this doesn't hit the Hydra. Right. Attracts it does. If I don't take the Titan and I put it back, if I take that and I take the Overlord, I can go get, yeah, we'll do that. 
I can go get the Titan. No, it doesn't work because I didn't take the incarnation. I was like, okay, <laughs> what, what's tutoring here? <laughs> yeah, I didn't take the incarnation, so that's not going to work. I'll just take all the creatures. Okay. Yeah, so enchantment creature land. Cuts. Here go. These go to hand. Uh, this is in play. I believe I drew a card off of Beanstalk for a track, so. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. How many, uh, how many cards do you have in hand? <laughs> I have seven. Okay. Um, I might not have. I might have just missed the trigger. I don't remember now. Um, pass. All right. Uh, Untap. Draw. So I'm really glad last turn I didn't play the one non-land I've drawn for the last, like, seven turns. Um, because you played a card I'd need to use it for. Uh, you have to sacrifice a creature with flying. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, not that it helps me any extra. Nick, though, says land for turn. We'll tap a green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. Fire it up for seven. Swing seven at you. See what crazy shenanigans you do and pass the turn. Like, I don't think you, you can really Again, I lethal, think I forgot to play land, too. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I'm just terrible at this game. <laughs> you, you've reached a number and you're like, eh. Right. <laughs> I'm going to flood anyways. <laughs> Uh, does that have trample in its future? No. Okay. Yeah, that's the worst thing about this deck is there's very little trample. That's what I've been looking at uh, foundations for. Eight man. So I think that means I'm gonna play Titan. Mm -hmm. That'll leave me with one, and I will gain five. Yep. Put a sh what? Do you have a lot of mana, right? Yeah, I have a decent amount. I am uh, if I'm just tapping mana strictly. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can that's, make it nine. I mean, you count the card in hand. That's fair, but it's the way. That yeah. I also um, I'll just make a rhino. Yeah. And then attack for six. Yep. Uh, Go to eight. Now I'm gonna trigger the beanstalk. I'm gonna finally remember. <laughs> um, pass. All right. On top. Now. Land for turn. I knew it was land. Um, I know you have instant speed removal. What am I thinking? Most likely you have a ley line. By um, the ley lines hands. are instant, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I do math here. So you have 11 toughness. Mm -hmm. Not having permanence on the board is kind of hurting at the moment. I'm going to make you use your ley line if you have it. Two mana to make it a 1 1. Okay. Seven mana? Six. Nissa. I am alt uh, if she resolves, I'm alting her. And both all my creatures will get um, plus eight, plus eight, and trample. Well, uh, sorry. Most likely, I'll be assuming, depending on what your response is. I don't are. have any other spots. You don't? Okay. I will alt it. So it will die. They will both get plus eight, plus eight, and trample. So they're both nine, nine tramplers. Move to combat. Yeah, I can block 11 of it. Yeah, swing. So take a. Oh, I'm at three, aren't I? No, I'm at eight. Yeah, you're at eight. Because you gained five, yep. Okay, so if I do this, I take seven? Yeah, I think so. I think that's, I think it's so seven. 19, so 18 yeah. minus 11 is seven, yes. Yes, we're good at math, so we I'm promise. Um, and then I'll pass turn and see if you can do the additional two. I don't have haste, so. You might have a pump spell. Nope. I have lands in hand that I keep forgetting to play. Well, to be fair, you can keep blockers back, too. I do still only have two creatures. Yeah. Let's see. No, but I've forgotten to play two lands, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm just tapping any lands because I have enough of every color at this point. That yeah. I don't think it matters. Um, Overlord. Yep. And that's just creature straight. Yeah. Full retail. Yep. Again everywhere. And then... Oh, 
trigger Beanstalk. Yes. Let's furnace the elf. That's the second time you furnace the elf. Six. Um, and then I'll attack. For six. Uh, four. I'll attack for four because it's the same clock. All right. And then pass. On tap. Can I do a second one in a row? No, I cannot draw a second disc in a row. I can draw a blocker, though. Stops? Yeah. Grab a forest. One. So it would trade with the overlord, which isn't a good thing. So I'd rather keep it back to trade with something else. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll pass the turn. You. <laughs> I was saying, all you need is any removal. Uh, I had four more lands in hand. I just kept forgetting to play them. I'm, I guess I'm just brain dead at this time of night. Yeah. I was like, all, all I, all you need to do is have any removal for the stops, and I'm dead anyways. Because yeah. all I could do is make um, him five. I had, I had a touch. This yeah. Weird realm. So, so I make him I five, it. block there to kill him, take the two, block there, and then I would have drawn into an awaken. Oh, there you go. That would have gotten yeah. you. Yeah. I think I need more layers in this deck. You're not running four? I'm running two, I think. Because they tap after two, and I, I, my deck actually cares about forests, but Overlord of the Hauntwoods actually just really ups the number of forests yeah. you get. So, I was Overlord's really good. I was originally going to replace the stomps with him, and now I've realized, no. They need to be like an eight of. Four stomps, yeah. four. Because you're always Hauntwoods. ramping them. Yeah. Like the um, odds of drawing one of the eight cards by turn three is pretty high. So what the the other new card that I did not get to play in this deck yet, just a casual, you know, like eight eight or oh. whatever in this deck. Yeah. It, it the biggest thing about him, honestly, is the reach. He is my one actual way to deal with flyers. Um, I've been pulling out a fable quite a bit actually. I don't know if it's correct or not, but I mean, I know it's more ramp, but. I, like, and you can do you like need so fable. So like, yeah. That's the thing is filtering all the extra lands that I draw can be good. Yeah. The the treasure token if I don't hit a fourth land can be good. Yeah. And sacrificing the fable gets me like an Omnath or the Biza, and then the other thing I can do is I can start copying the overlords. Yeah, so that's actually one of the things with Glass Pool Mimic that I was yeah. seeing people do, is use the Glass Pool Mimic and you play the Boiler Bilges, and you use Glass yeah. Pool Mimic it two or three times, and... Yeah, there was um, some games on Arena that I was playing where I had Elish Norn in play with Fable flipped over and the Overlords, and it's just like, yeah, this is this is over. Like, every time you copy one, you're doing eight damage or whatever. Yeah, and... Um, Oops, sorry. Then you attack, do eight more. Yep. The only last thing I changed, which, by the way, like, apparently Pick Your Poison has actually been the correct choice in every game. Uh, oh, I guess I guess when you attack, it's not eight more, but you... Because yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. only one attack trigger, but right, you have right. two of them in play. Yep. Um, so, yeah. GG's. GG's.